Hey, welcome to part three about uh, the subject of doing the bare minimum. Uh, and uh, today's uh, highlight, the point, is the zero point. It's kind of the, the flat landing zone between the above space and the below space. So uh, follow me along here and we'll, we'll get into it. Okay, uh, talk about the, the, the zero point. I mentioned that on the first video. So the zero point is the decision to do the bare minimum as well as uh, finding their own personal space somewhere, you know, where they're going to inhabit for a while. So that's, that's kind of the zero point. And I found that uh, people who decide to do the bare minimum usually coming from two directions. Either the first one is the most likely if they're an adult is they've been hurt and they're just like uh, I'm done I'm out of here and the, the second one the, the uh, doing the bare minimum is usually adolescence you know it's immaturity you know usually younger people uh, not always not always but uh, the sign of immaturity says well I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go do something else I'm more at that that sort of thing is uh, the healing space is going to the bare minimum is a person often a person's attempt to uh, heal themselves and so they create of whatever level they're uh, prepared to do many people don't have resources at all they're just instantly put out um, trying to get to and you know healing um, I mentioned that on the first video zero point is doing the withdraw zero point so I made a little graph here of uh, what I was trying to get some clarity on is as individuals we do have to go to this flat plane as we're n we're not at the point of being with other people you see there's two little figures there um, because in going to the bare minimum is uh, yeah you got to do it alone because if you try to do bare minimum with other people, they get angry at you often. So the bare minimum is a healing space. But there's waves. I don't know if you see those, but it's 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 rough in there. But it is okay. Something very much worth mentioning, but I'm not going to go into it on this video. Is uh, for that healing, what we do bring into ourselves uh, to try to feel better, which are often addictive substances yeah that's a whole nother video but yeah in the field here in the zero point yeah people are taking drugs and we got to be careful yeah. yeah the core of mental health who a big field check out gabor mate you know on his interviews about uh the zero point substances mental health all that sort of thing very but uh, that's where my heart really uh, goes out to folks, uh, including myself, is uh, that rough, rough period when we're spending days, weeks, years alone trying to deal with uh, the, the hurt inside. It is a healing space. I got my trees, you see, and my little tent there. And it's a uh, undetermined amount of time to be there. I'm going to spend time there as an individual, do my healing. But it's, it's, uh, it's a frothy ocean. You gotta be really careful because this end can lead to death, true to actual de death, usually taking your own life. But uh, the healing space allows us to return and back, back to this point. Um, but I have these two little bumps in here which are really quite critical. Let me just focus in. Yeah, you think, oh, it's going good things are going good and I'm gonna return go back to my relations and things like that and often that spits you off something spits you off back in see I got that, that that arrow there and so same on the low side if you're like feeling down low 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 there's usually a bump and that's a real critical time because you can fall down that way uh, and so managing that space there um, is, is really important. So yeah, here's our, our flat zero point and it takes some management to, uh, to navigate this because it's often lonely, 
A lot of times it's unprotected. Uh, you got the elements, you know, it's some, some hard things actually. But there's also beauty. You get to exercise, you get to explore, you get to sit with yourself. You don't have to answer to anybody. You know, recover, heal, and uh, start that process. So if you find yourself in that, um, yeah, going alone is pretty hard. I definitely advise uh, getting a therapist, uh, a neutral person to uh, help navigate along with that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, by the way, I'm not a therapist or anything like that, so I'm just sharing my own experience.